Well, we're gonna do intros with who we got at this point. So, what's your name? How long have you been here? And what's your favorite holiday movie? So, I'm gonna start. I'm Rina. I've been here for three months, and my favorite holiday movie is Puss in the Bush. Hi, my name is Abhishek. I've been here for one month, and my favorite holiday movie is Kung Fu Panda. Hi, guys. I'm Olivia. I've been here 14 months, and my favorite holiday movie is Home Alone. Hi, my name is Rachel. I've been here for 50 months, and my favorite holiday movie is A Christmas Story. Hi, everyone. My name is John, and I've been here for 198 months, and my favorite holiday movie is Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank you everyone for coming. We're gonna jump right into the DOR. So those in charge of each product are gonna give us some background of where we were last week and we're gonna give us some forecast of the next week and the week after. And Rachel, you can start. Um, keeping with the forecast, I think we're doing very well. Um, I am the most competitive person in this room and I say I give $30 of my own money <laughs> to anybody who can sell more cheese than I can. Uh, next week, I'm going to forecast the cheese sales to be 27. Uh, how are we going to get there? We have some new cheeses coming in from New Zealand and Australia, and those products are expected to boost our sales because they taste wonderful. Okay, guys, so I'm working with Rachel on cheese. Um, this week, our total domestic sales were 25, which is higher than the same period last year of 24. So great job, guys. Um, as Rachel said, we're getting some new types in, so that's great. Quantity is going great, and we're, we have something for everybody who walks in the door. Good job, Rachel and Olivia. Just a quick input for me. I've heard that customers aren't getting too many samples of our non-sandwich products, such as cheese. Uh, samples are the most important part in terms of getting feedback on our food and boosting sales, really. So I highly encourage you guys to approach customers with your favorite food and don't ask them if they're looking for something. Just give them a sample straight up front. Start talking about the food. Just encourage them to buy some Let it effectively. Speak for themselves. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rachel, Olivia, and John. If no one else has any other comment, I'm going to start our appreciation. So thank you, team, for doing such a fantastic job. Um, I'd like to appreciate Rachel for training me for my first month and for always training the newcomers. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> I want to appreciate everybody who works the same shift as me. I wasn't feeling well last week, so thanks guys for bringing me tea every couple of hours and sending me home early. Um, I'd like to go on uh, and move on to compliments and complaints. And I received the top voted compliment and complaint of the week. Um, so the complaint was, uh, missing order items. We know it gets loud in the store, but make sure to read back your order and get confirmation. Compliment I received was, an Ann Arbor resident says he always comes to Zingerman's because it makes him feel better. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Alright, this upcoming week is going to be a crazy one, so just want to make sure that you guys are taking care of each other, cleaning up, uh, training the newcomers, and that you treat customers with the same level of respect. Remember, more important than sales, though, is our mission. Does anyone remember what our mission is? So yeah. always show up and care. care. Exactly. Don't get too caught up in sales and profit. Focus on helping each other and making sure that the customers leave happy. Profit will naturally follow. Alright? Great job, guys. Let's get back to work.